it is true that there are times God can be silent as far as revealing his will over your life and destiny is concerned I was led of the spirit to teach you this because I believe that there are many people who are in the season of the silence of God there is something called the season of the silence of God you pray you fast you do everything and it looks like you are not hearing him let me tell you what that means every time God is silent it means three things number one it means he is working on you that is the first thing every time God is silent and he withholds revealing his will to you it can mean number one that you as the vessel that will be used to do his will there is a work that he's doing in you and revealing his will to you will be a waste in that state and so his silence means that you con you should continue the training of the building until he makes you the vessel that is able to do that will you want him to reveal please listen very carefully god is speaking to someone right now god why have you been silent on me my family my destiny Every time God is silent, number one, discern that his silence is a message that I am making the vessel who I will use to achieve my will. Look up please. God was silent on Jesus for 30 years. Read your Bible. You don't hear Jesus communicating with God as a small child and yet he was God. From the time God spoke around his birth, you don't hear any discussion again. He went to pray, he went to learn. For 30 years, we don't hear the voice of God over Jesus' issue again. Every time God is silent, focus on you, not him. He is doing something in that vessel. Jesus was in the temple at age 12 because as powerful as Jesus is, even though he was God incarnate, at that state, he would not be able to fulfill the will of God. He needed to learn. He needed to grow. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. Your Bible says in those moments of silence, Jesus increased. In wisdom, he increased. In stature, he increased. In favor with God and man. Don't waste your moments of silence. When God is silent, rather than lamenting in impatience, focus on allowing him build you. Lord, I know that you have not spoken concerning this and that and that. It means that there is something. The vessel that you want to use for that task has not yet become the fashion that necessitates the revelation of your will. Is someone learning tonight? Listen, what you are learning tonight, you are going to use it to help so many people. For some of you, this message now, you will call your loved ones and say, Hey, I came for Koinonia, I found the key. I found the key. While you have prayed and submitted your prayer here at Miracle Service, prayer after prayer, vigil after vigil. Most people do not focus on God making them they just focus on God revealing his will every time God reveals his will there is a version that will fulfill that will and if you have not become that version he will withhold his speakings and focus on your training powerful another example I use Jesus let me give you one more <laughs> when joseph had a dream that was the end of it there was nothing else he saw or had again he just had a dream of his destiny the sun the moon 11 stars when joseph entered the pit i'm sure he would say god give me explain to me why a righteous man will be inside the pit by my own brothers silence when they were selling him to go to egypt silence but was he ever out of the will of god please talk to me even in your confusion god is still leading you this is a powerful message tonight as confused as you may think you are god is still leading you let me tell you how god leads look at me i want to teach you something powerful if god's desire is for you to go this way and enter a door please watch me 
if God's desire is for you to go left and enter the door to your destiny and in all honesty and sincerity of heart believing him you move right he will remove the door there and bring it here to make sure you do not miss his will that is how determined God is believe this about God most of you don't know how powerful God is have you read the scripture that says all things work together not for everybody to them that love the Lord so anytime you don't understand your life just ask do I love the Lord if your love is still in place find rest trouble only starts when the challenges toll away your love then you are in trouble all things interpreting the silence of God every time God is silent number one it means he's walking on the vessel Joseph look at the tragedies that follow Joseph's life from the well Joseph will get up they sold him in prison and he started serving he became the head of the prisoners just when he was about to rest Potiphar's wife came with her own trouble are we together now and then oh dear look at what happened to Joseph that he was in the prison there and he was holding the cloth of Potiphar's wife how could you deny he was holding the cloth of Potiphar's wife how would he ever explain to them next stage it went to the prison and he was there in the prison do you know he had legitimate grounds to be offended how in the world did I get here simply because of the dream God is 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 that is not worth it please carry it and give somebody that's what somebody wants to do here now to say Lord I am tired of this thing beware when God appears to you and say you are highly favored because sometimes what follows that statement is controversy read your Bible he said you are highly favored you thought that immediately after that you will see people who will come together with gifts and say Mary you mean God appeared to you the favor of God can be very controversial and he calls it favor how do you explain that you are pregnant and yet you claim you are a virgin and instead of God to now speak and defend you he now keeps quiet learn how to live in the silence of God my dear people Joseph went to the prison and he stayed there even in his confusion and pain he was in the will of God and one day watch this he saw two people and he interpreted their dreams and he said please when you go to Pharaoh he didn't say tell him to make me king uh -uh. he said all I want is to get out of this place please tell Pharaoh I'm innocent and the man got there guess what happened he forgot him two years if you are Joseph and you come out and become prime minister who is the first person you are going to deal with you will first deal with the wine presser followed by Potiphar's wife when he became king it was unnecessary when when the will of God is manifest in your life there are battles that become unnecessary you have won are you learning this now so after two years in patience the voice of God was about to come let me tell you even when you enter the season of his voice you will not know you are that close it will be one morning and then the king sent for fair for Joseph just like somebody came for koinonia here tonight you don't know that the season the voice of his majesty after 10 years after 15 years after 20 years after five years after two months finally his majesty is about to speak sit down let me tell you how God speaks when God is speaking to end your seasons he does not come as a still small voice read your Bible mm -mm. when it has to do with bringing your season to an end he comes in majesty he will do things that will let them it will be impossible to doubt that he's the one that came 
hallelujah and on that morning Joseph got up in the morning how are you dear prisoners how are you Joseph God bless you ah, it's been a long time two years plus we don't know how long he stayed in the prison we know that the two years was from the time the one presser left so X number of years plus two years he didn't know that that morning he'll be prime minister the gate the jailer did not know he was going to open the gate for his boss hear me while you are praying and trusting God Lord if you will only give me a job of 200,000 I will be grateful the day the voice of God comes to honor you for being patient through the season of silence somebody will call you and say I'm leaving Nigeria I've been looking for someone to head my company can you come and do it for me and you will think it's a lie that when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that three Please sit down. The king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. I'm sure his heart was beating when he came to stand because they didn't tell him why they asked him to come out. If a king should send for you from prison, you are either going to go back or you, they will execute you. And I can imagine him shaking and standing before the king. Your majesty. And the king said, well, I slept and I had a dream and they say you can interpret dreams he said well it is not within my power God will give Pharaoh an answer of peace this is what you saw Pharaoh this is what you saw so what is the solution gather 20% of all of this and save for seven years and when he finished Pharaoh said since God revealed it to you who else in Egypt is able to do this I am Pharaoh and it is only in the throne that you will be second to me. You become the administrator right away. Look up. There are many things he would have done when he was in prison. When he was in prison, he probably would have been gathering some money to build his own house and make meaning of his life. Everything he would have done if he were not in the prison came to him in one day. Read your Bible. A wife came in. He didn't need to look for a wife. Potiphera. The wife of the priest, the priest of On, his daughter, they gave him free. They changed his name. They put royal robe, everything in one day. Can I tell you, while you are waiting, don't be regretting what you would have been doing. It is already in the plan. The compensation is in the plan. Believe me when I tell you this. Shana Malakatosiata. The compensation has already been built. Hear me, I know, oh Hannah, that you've been waiting a long time for a child, but be patient. The child that is coming is not a normal child. He is the one who will anoint all the kings of Israel. So be patient. Hear me, do you know why patience is powerful? Patience is powerful because it can help you. To be able to gather together the kind of compassion you need through your pain so that you will sustain certain results when they come when certain destiny things come too easy there is no memory bank of pain you will be careless over many great things but when you you think joseph had the time to be careless after spending x plus two years in the prison the memory of his pain in the prison will not make him take his job lightly that's why some of us press into this thing of God because we know where he brought us from. Sit down.